Hi guys! In this video, I am going to show you how to display text dynamically based on specific cell contents over images. Specifically, this is my slicer and these are my text values. When I click on my slicer on any of my player and you are going to see that the name of the player and also his number is changing. So in this video I am going to illustrate how to make it. As you might remember when you insert, when you return a, a text values to the cells and, you, and when you put the images on that text value and you are going to see that it overlaps it and there is no way to bring the that text over images on Excel and there is another way to do that now in this video I'm going to show you that way let me delete this ones first so basically add a picture to your dashboard then go to the insert then go and click on the text box okay when you click on it you are going to see that nothing happens here and you need to go and draw your text box so now I will draw my text box here okay and this is my text box I'm going to return my text values on in this text box select your text box and go to your formula and then say equal then go to the pivot table okay that we have created in a previous video and you can uh, if you haven't seen if you haven't watched that video yet you can connect that video from here and go to the pivot table that you have created then go and select the name of the player okay then press enter so my name is appeared here then let me let's go and increase the size of it a bit then I will change I will format the text I will fit it to middle and I am going to go and select my text from the shape format I am going to go and remove the uh, fill color okay this is my text and I'm going to go and delete the outline as well going to home I'm going to center the text okay this is the name of the player so let's go and return the, the number of the player and to do that again we need to go to the insert then go and select text box and draw your text box here okay then select your text box go to the formula and say equal here then go to the, the pivot table that we have created in the previous video then go and select the number of that player then press enter so when you press enter it will take back to your dashboard and go and select your text box then go to the shape format then I will delete the fill color remove the fill color and then I will remove the outline as well I will make the text shape, text format this one then I will go to home to increase size of my number I'm going to make it center okay so that's it let's go and check it when I select different player and you are going to see that the name and also the number of that player is changing right it's quite easy to do and it's quite cool try to do it see you in the next video